This is the view from the balcony, patio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a small one. Here at my hotel in Gokarna, India, in Karnataka State, South India. Lots of birds chirping and whatnot. And so I'll head into the room here, start off this video with a tour of my hotel room. Uh, nice double bed, the mattress is okay, a bit uh, more firm than I would prefer. Private bathroom with a cold shower. And so this room is 450 rupees, which is about $6.50. So the current exchange rate for the Indian rupee versus the US dollar is one dollar equals 67 rupees. So if you go up to a currency exchange booth, give them 100 US dollars, they will give you back 6,700 rupees. So that is an amazing exchange rate. The US dollar is super strong right now. Previous times that I've been to India, um, it has been more like 43, 45 rupees to the dollar, maybe 50 something. Um, so 67 rupees is uh, really good. That really brings down your costs. However, as always, exchange rates vary, so uh, check for the current exchange rate. And here's the Indian currency, the rupee. That is one rupee, two, two, two rupees, five rupees, ten rupees, twenty, fifty, one hundred rupees. And so one hundred rupees is about one dollar fifty cents. There's also a five hundred uh, rupee note, I didn't have one. And here is two thousand rupees. And so that is about $30 there. And as you can see, Mahatma Gandhi on all of the notes. So breakfast is often the most expensive meal of the day, especially if you go to a more touristy place and get um, you know, Western options for breakfast, uh, eggs, toast, fruit salad, etc. You can easily rack up you know, maybe two, three hundred rupees, something like that, especially in uh, the more expensive places such as Goa, which is where I was before, it is very easy to end up spending three, four, five hundred rupees on a meal. However, where I am now in Gokarna is much cheaper than uh, Goa or some of the more expensive uh, tourist places. It is a small little village. It is certainly on the tourist map. There are other foreigners here. There are some great beaches that are nearby. However, the prices are certainly uh, closer to the real Indian prices. And so last night before I came back to my room, I did a little shopping at a market, bought some fruit and some nuts and things for snacking on uh, later in the night. But it also is going to work out for a good breakfast, so uh, breakfast this morning is going to be some of the things that I bought yesterday. And so here is the breakfast selection for this morning. Here's an apple. Um, I got two apples for 55 rupees, which is about 75, uh, 80 cents or so, so um, like 40 cents for one apple. That is a little expensive. Other fruits like bananas are uh, much cheaper. And then here is an assortment of nuts and some raisins. Now, these are not the cheapest thing uh, that you can find. Peanuts are much cheaper, but here I have pistachios, cashews, and almonds. And you can see the price written uh, here. It's 110 rupees, 90 rupees for the cashews, 90 rupees for the almonds, and then raisins for just 30 rupees. And then this is called chiki and it's 40 rupees. It is a uh, mix of roasted ground nuts and jaggery. It doesn't say which kind of nuts. I'm not exactly sure what jaggery is, but that's the sweetener, I'm pretty sure. And then this is a, uh, another one that I uh, partially ate yesterday. And so everything here then was 455 rupees, including uh, two apples. And so I'm definitely not going to eat all of this stuff for breakfast here. Um, these right here are like super filling by themselves. So I'll just kind of snack on some of this stuff here. So not exactly sure what um, breakfast for this morning will end up being, but it's going to be uh, pretty cheap, you know, a buck or so. And then the one drawback of this room is that it has no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi in the hotel at all. And uh, that is uh, actually quite rare for India. Basically, you get Wi-Fi everywhere you go. You can find it in hotels, hostels, restaurants, etc. Gokarna is a small little village. Obviously, they have limited access to, um, you know, Wi-Fi and um, cell phone, etc. And so Wi-Fi is really hard to come by here. I have not seen it in any of the restaurants. There are a couple of uh, internet shops, 
where you can either use the computer or they also have Wi-Fi. And so I've been going there uh, each day that I've been here. I will go there later today to use the internet. All right, and so now it is time to get out of the room here, show you a little of the uh, town of Gokarna, give you a taste of India. My first uh, mission for the day is to find a place to do some laundry. So I'm just going to uh, walk down the main street, look for a sign that says laundry. And so this is the hotel, Hotel Sri Sai Ram. And this is the owner here. <laughs> and I will point out ATM machine right around the corner. That's the place to get your cash. You will get rupees. And I was just told that there is a laundry place right down the uh, street here. So going to go find it. Hot day in South India. All right, here we have the laundry service, but it is closed. He said that uh, it opens up at four, so. And so I ditched the laundry. I will uh, take that over there at 4.30 when they apparently open up. You never know, it's, you know, Indian time. But uh, just thought that I would walk around the little uh, town here, give you a little taste of what it's like. And I think I'm gonna go for uh, a fresh coconut to drink. Here we go. Coconuts to drink. Drink? Yeah. How much how much one? 30. 30. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And a nice big juicy coconut. Super tasty. So 30 rupees, which is like 40 cents. Same price as another place uh, down the street. That is a little bit expensive, actually. I've gotten them for as cheap as five rupees before. But, you know, prices are going up in India. And so these are two super cheap restaurants right across from each other. It says Pai Hotel. That actually means restaurant. There's some confusion there about what hotel means. And then the Maitreya Juice Center. I might be uh, going to one of those later. Some amazing fabrics and jewelry here. I'm not going to ask prices because I don't want to get sucked into uh, being expected to buy something, but it will be very cheap. Internet Wi-Fi shop here. Hello. How much tali? 70. 70? Thank you. So a tali there is 70 rupees or one dollar. That is like a all-you-can-eat multi-course uh, meal. I will show one later. And a public toilet is just five rupees or you can take a bath for ten. And here's the Gokarna Beach. No swimming, it says. However, lots of people are swimming out there. And it's a little later in the afternoon. I'm going to stop in here for a little something. This is sweetened almond milk for just 20 rupees or about 30 cents. This is called Sev Puri. It is just 22 rupees, which is 33 cents. And so I just washed my own towel. The reason being that I didn't want to be without my towel for a full day. So that is, of course, a good way to save a couple of bucks, do your own laundry. However, when it comes to a big bag of socks and underwear and a stack of t-shirts, I would just as soon pay someone else to wash them for me. And dropped off the laundry. It's going to be 205 rupees, which is just $3. And it will be ready tomorrow around the same time.
getting on evening now. I'm now going to uh, go use the internet for a little while. Three hours of internet cost me 90 rupees or like a dollar 25, so it's not expensive. The problem is the internet is so slow and uh, I only got my video like 20% uploaded in that whole time, so. Now going to see if they're serving a tolly right now. Pie restaurant. And so this is a sweet lassie, a yogurt drink. Really tasty and check it out. The Indian tolly. Chapati, rice, yogurt, and all these curry dishes. Some salt and spice. The whole thing is just 80 rupees, which is barely more than all. And then you just kind of mix them together as you like and use the chapati to eat it. All right, so I thought that I would finish up the video here where it is a little bit quieter. So I added everything up for the day and my total expenses um, converted with the current exchange rate of the US dollar came to 16 US dollars. So that is pretty good for a nice, cozy, comfy, quiet, private room, despite the lack of the Wi-Fi. Breakfast, a fresh coconut, um, laundry, lunch, several drinks, internet, and a huge uh, dinner. You can certainly travel in India for less than that. The last time that I was in India, I had a room for just 100 rupees. You can also certainly end up paying more for that. So there is a very wide uh, range of uh, budgets that can really accommodate everybody. You can travel for $10 a day in India if you, you know, are a real uh, stickler about it. Um, or you can spend $20, $30 and travel quite comfortably. So I hope this video gave you a good idea of how you can travel in India super cheap. Take it easy.